Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Understanding taxpayer rights, the right to be informed. But first, an attempt at a joke, I apologize in advance. During an IRS audit, the IRS agent said that I was antisocial. I told him, I'm not antisocial. I don't have anything against IRS agent social. As long as he leaves me alone. IRS Tax Tip 2022-34, March 3rd, 2022. Taxpayers have the right to know what they need to do to comply with the tax laws. Not just during filing season, but all year. When something happens to taxpayers' accounts, that taxpayer has the right to be informed about that activity. In fact, this right is one of the 10 outlined in the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. There's a link to the Taxpayer Bill of Rights here. The right to be informed means taxpayers have the right to know what they need to do to comply with tax laws. So this seems obvious, but it's important, of course, because you can imagine situations where you're basically getting in trouble for not complying with a law that you don't know what the law was, and you gotta be able to know what the law was in order to have any kind of chance of being able to comply with it. Have clear explanations of the laws and IRS procedures in all forms, instructions, publications, notices, correspondence. So we got all the forms, you got the instructions to the forms. We should be able to know exactly what we're supposed to do in order to be in compliance uh, with the law. Be informed of IRS decisions about their tax accounts. So when the IRS makes a decision about the account, again, you can imagine a situation where they make a decision, they take action, they start charging penalties and interest, for example, that accumulates for five years, and then, the, and then you finally find out about it. And it's like, wait a second, now the uh, penalties and interest have accumulated to massive amounts or something like that. Can't really do that. They got, you know, we, we need to be informed in order for this whole thing to be fair. Receive clear explanations of the outcomes of IRS decisions. So when an IRS, when the IRS makes a decision, then they need to be able to explain it. They need to ex be able to explain it within the context of the law. So that we should have an objective way of looking at whether or not the IRS is doing the right thing or not because we're gonna be comparing it to the law. Again, you can argue whether or not the law is correct or not. That's a different type of argument, which has different types of remedies if you think the tax code needs to be changed, for example. But once the law is in place, and the IRS, the tool that is implementing the law, then they should be making their implementation co-aligning or in con conjunction with the actual law. So uh, to make sure taxpayers are informed, the IRS will include within certain notices any amount of the tax interest and certain penalties the taxpayer owes. Explain why the taxpayers owes any taxes. So if they're going to send you a letter and say, hey, we think your tax returns messed up and you owe more taxes and we're going to charge you penalties and interest, they should tell you why right and and it, again it seems kind of obvious but we've all probably been in a situation where you're dealing especially with a bureaucratic kind of system where they actually you know the more bureaucratic something gets sometimes they actually seem to take pleasure in not telling telling you why something happened well it's penalties and interest why because i said so well that's you know we need to <laughs> It's, you know, that's not very satisfying of an answer, right? They might be right to do the action, but we need to know why uh, the action is going to be done in accordance with the law uh, would make things run a lot more smoothly. Explain why the taxpayer owes any taxes. Explain the specific reasons why it denied a refund claim. Post information on irs.gov to help taxpayers understand their IRS notice or letter. Send a letter when the agency assesses a tax. That letter must include information about how the taxpayer can appeal the decision so note even when they send a letter out they should be saying hey look this is my opinion and uh, and the opinion is based on the tax code because we're supposed to have a tax reporting system we where, where we voluntarily report our taxes in accordance with the tax law and 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 if they disagree with what we're reporting then we should we have the recourse to be able to say no we think we're correct again the objective measure however of course is the tax law so if they're saying my position your position that you're taking is incorrect you can imagine a situation where the irs the bureaucratic authority could just tell you that you know your position is incorrect in not in alignment with the tax law and and you could say well you're totally wrong it is in alignment with the tax law and they just ignore you right a lot of bureaucratic kind of systems do that it's very frustrating so you should have a system to be able to 
have recourse uh, in the event that you say, hey, wait a second, no, you're not in alignment with the tax law here, and uh, and you can appeal basically the decision and and take it take it further. Again, there's a difference with agreeing with the tax law in terms of the law itself and and seeing whether or not the bureaucratic agency which has the ability to implement the law is is doing so in accordance with the law so an explanation of the entire process from audit through collection details on how the taxpayer advocate service can help there's a link to the taxpayer advocate service send an annual statement to taxpayers uh, who enter into a payment plan the statement will include how much the taxpayer owes at the beginning of the year pay during the year still owes at the end of the year make forms and publications available on irs.gov use social media to provide helpful tax information to a wide audience of taxpayers so there's links to some of that information here there'll be a link to this in the description